Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I am very excited to be walking around the all new 2023 Newmar London Air 4521. So there was a lot of really, really cool changes from the 2022 to the 2023 Newmar London Air and we'll be going over that. This is a brand new floor plan, kind of different from what we're used to. It's a full wall slide with your dining on the door side rather than the off door side, which is kind of new Newmar's traditional floor plan. So we'll start by walking on the outside, then head inside. New for 2023, we've got the Hayworth exterior full body paint. So no stickers, no decals, no graphics. That's all paint. You're not going to worry about cracking or fading over time. Standard on the 2023 Newmar London Air, we've got the Gerard Nova integrated awnings, which are controlled by the remote. So at the push of the button, we can run out our integrated roof awnings. We can control them individually as well. So we've got the front awning, which is just over the door. Go ahead and put that one back in for now. And then we've got number one of our two patio awnings. And then number three of our patio awnings coming out now. Now I'm not gonna leave them out because it is a little rainy and I don't want water to pool on them, cause damage. With that Gerard awning package, we also get the window awnings that come out and cover up your big side windows to prevent the sun from beating in and making the, or heating the coach up. So up in the front here, 2023 Newmar London Air, we've got one of our two diesel fuel fills, 150 gallons of diesel fuel on the 2023 London Air. In the front compartment, we've got the Dometic CFX refrigerator freezer. Now this is the new one that has dual compartments that we can change the temperature on. So we have individually controlled compartments. You can control it right here on the side or you can download the app and use your phone to do, control your uh, temperatures with Bluetooth. Shelving built in up above there just to optimize the storage, make sure we're not wasting any space. 2023 Newmar London Air also has a redesigned baggage door. So basically they redesigned the closing mechanism, the seals, everything so that we don't have to slam these doors anymore. Newmar traditionally had doors that were so well sealed that you really had to give them a good push in order to get them to close. The 2023s, they've completely redesigned them, made it a lot easier. Up top, 43 inch Samsung HD TV. Now this is floor plan specific. In some models, this TV will not be in the sidewall. It'll be in one of these lower compartments, but on the 4521, it has to be in the sidewall. We're gonna talk a lot about what's specific or what's cool about the 4521 um, kind of as we go along here. Now, one thing that's really cool about the 4521 is our baggage doors are still full height. Traditionally, if we have the door side dining, the baggage doors have to get a lot smaller in order to accommodate that table. So in the 4521, we still get full height baggage doors. We still get our two pass-through bays. Now in the London Air, they, we do have the option to make these trays power, which obviously this one has. We can also do manual trays, just depending on your preference. But push button, 60% either direction of extension. And notice it does stop automatically so that we don't push it through that other side. Same thing in this compartment, just a bigger tray. Power extend, power retract, 60% either direction. Now this is the one and only manual tray that we're gonna have in this motorhome. Half bay. Very easy to pull in and put away. Now, other things that are going on in this bay, we've got our central vacuum system. So that's where we're gonna uh, clean out our bags, our filters, that kind of thing. We can also plug a hose into that if we want to vacuum out, you know, our tow vehicle, things like that while we're, in or while we're on the road. Also, up on this side, two 110 volt outlets. So if you need power outside, Numar has made it readily available for you. Next compartment, this is our pegboard. So great place to keep a couple extra quarts of oil, maybe a spare belt, uh, all your tools, anything you might need, emergency service or emergency stuff, this is a great compartment to keep it. Now the reason this is a smaller compartment is directly behind this, you've got our 105 gallon fresh water tank. 
So new for 2023, the Newmar London Air does come standard with blind spot monitoring. We have six of these sensors located around the coach so that if there's a car in that area that we can't see in our mirrors, it'll give us an audible warning inside the cab. Now also standard for 2023, we have 360 degree cameras on all Newmar London Airs. So there's one there, we'll have one in the back, one on the front, two on each side, one on the front, one on the back, um, which also gives us the, bird, the bird's eye view. When we get into the cab, we'll talk about that more. Next, 15 gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank, DEF tank. Now for emergency stand or stuff, I always like that Spartan does this on the K3 chassis. If you ever had an airbag that was not inflating for some particular reason, they do give you valves right here to where you can take an airbag or an air compressor and inflate that airbag in order to get yourself out of a situation. Let's say you're stuck on the road and you're stuck in a campground, need to get to a service facility, one airbag's not inflating, you have the ability to inflate it yourself and get yourself out. Last compartment on the passenger side, just the standard part in K3 chassis battery compartment. So we've got two battery disconnects here, two 12 volt batteries, all these are for starting the engine, uh, air dryer and fuel water separator, all nice and easy to access, very clean compartment. Coming around the back, the Newmar London Air is built on the K Spartan K3605. So that engine is a Cummins ISX 15 liter producing 605 horsepower, 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. Nice and big. Here is another one of our cameras. Coming down below, two and a half inch receiver. That is going to have a 20,000 pound towing capacity. Now, to the left, we've got the connection for our Air Force One brake system, if that's what you use on a tow vehicle. Seven pin connector for all your trailer brakes and trailer lights. And then another Voyager connection for those of you who pull big trailers that have cameras on the back of them, we can actually display those cameras on the dash of your London Air so you don't have to have like a remote screen cluttering up your dash. Another one of our six blind spot monitors, so we have it on each corner. Another fill for that 15 gallon DEF tank. Dual side depth fill, dual side fuel fill. Makes your life a lot easier when you're pulling into fueling islands. Fuel, fuel islands? Fuel islands? Little bit of hose storage for that uh, black tank dump hose. And then we've got the water bay here on the passenger side, driver's side. So start with the basics. We've got your hose, manual extend, power retract, a gray and black tank dump. They do give you a gravity dump as well as this coach. Well, the Newmar London Airs come standard with the RV SantaCon system. So that is a macerator pump. It'll pump out your gray and black tanks rather than doing it the gravity way. Whole house water filter. We have it winterized right now. So when you pick it up for delivery, this filter will be installed in the canister. Gray and black tank rinse valves. Uh, paper towel holder, hot and cold exterior shower. And then we have the monitor screen down here levels while we're looking at this bay. So fresh black and gray, water pump on and off, turn on your lights out here so that you can see what you're doing, start and stop your generator, and new for 20, have a tilt mode. So if you are using that gravity dr drain, this 2023 Newmar London Air has the ability to actually tilt towards the, uh, towards the drain just to make everything flow out of that gray and black tank a lot easier. Helps with, uh, helps with sanitizing the tank and making sure that you're fully clearing out your drain pipe and everything when you go to dump. Really cool feature. All it is, push the button, the air will start adjusting and lean the coach towards the left or the driver's side. In this bay, we've got our 50 amp power cord. Now this is on a reel, manual extend, power retract. This is a 50 foot cord. Now also very important here, we've got a 30 amp connection. So for those of you pulling big stackers or if you're taking your son, daughter, grandkids, whoever camping with you and you wanna go boondock for a little bit, we have a 30 amp connection that, that you, they could actually plug their camper into yours and have power off of your 12,500 12, watt generator. 
Oasis Chinook system, this is going to be your water heater as well as the furnace for this motorhome. This can run off of either diesel or electricity, just depending on what you have available. And then the other side of our pass-through bays. Again, power extend, power attract, 60% either direction. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me run that out. If you want to see it run out, call me. I'll send you a personalized video. All right, so this is probably one of the most exciting changes for 2023 Newmar London Airs. So we have an option now. So there's three ways we can order in the London Air. Now, we have standard, which is six six volt house batteries with a propane tank. Uh, upgrade one is going to be eight AGM house batteries, six volt AGM house batteries. That will make you an all electric coach. And then option two is two 320 amp hour lithium batteries with dual 3000 watt inverters. Now what's really cool about how Numar did this is this is a modular system. You see this tray that these batteries are built into has space. We could add a third battery giving you 50% more power. Now with this option, we also added four 100, 100 watt solar panels to the roof to keep these batteries charged. So what's all this mean to you? With this setup, I can actually run, run one roof air conditioning off of battery power with no external power source, no generator, no power plug. Um, it gives you just more clean power, lets you run off the grid longer without worrying about damaging your batteries. Last compartment on the 2023 Newmar London Air, just our chassis fuses and circuit breakers. We've also got the switch here for our HWH hydraulic slide for the 12,500 watt generator. Pops right out the front. You can kind of look in there. Notice we do have a remote oil filter for that generator. So if you're the kind of person that wants to service it yourself, makes life very easy. Lots of electronics in here, hydraulic pumps up front but having a hydraulic slide rather than having to pull that slide out by yourself makes life a lot nicer. Now, while we're standing here, let's go ahead and look at this stock tag. The stock number for this 2023 Newmar London Air 4521 is 5N220581. What's really exciting is this unit is actually available. Um, it showed up from the factory two days ago. We've got a couple of inspections that we need to knock out on it, but it is going to be ready to leave our lot within the next week or two. So I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our walkthrough of the exterior. Let's go ahead inside. First thing you notice when you open the door, we've got the HWH hydraulic triple step. Comes down nice and low. Now I have this tilted right now. If it was actually level, it would uh, the step would be a lot lower, but I was playing with that tilt button in the dump bay or in the uh, water bay so as you walk in here right now i have all the slides completely closed up i'm gonna sneak by you jody i'll go to the back so everyone can see it before i open it up so with this coach completely closed up i have all the room in the world to walk back here access to my refrigerator absolutely both doors as well as the freezer and then if i wanted to get into the half bath plenty of room to do so so i'll go ahead and open these slides up and we'll talk about the inside of the new Mar london air 4521 Something kind of unique to this coach is we do have dual HWH hydraulic slides. So both the driver and passenger slide here in the front are gonna be hydraulic. That was a complete re-engineer from Numar for the door side slide in order to give us those uh, full height baggage doors. So just some other options that this coach is equipped with that we didn't see or talk about yet. Um, up on the roof, we've got dual satellites on this 2023 Newmar London Air. We have the Weingard Traveler, as well as the Weingard RTT-20B, which is an in-motion dome satellite. 
Now doing dual satellites gives you the flexibility to uh, gives you the flexibility to choose how you want to watch TV. It also gives you the flexibility of if you have direct or dish, no matter what, there's a satellite up there that's going to help or that's going to work for you. Last slide. Other things we've got going on here, up on the roof, standard on the 2023 Newmar London Air is three 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat pumps. Now, I mentioned it outside that with the lithium battery pack and the dual 3000 watt inverters that we can run one air conditioning off of an inverter or off of the batteries and inverters. And I'm not really sure how to demonstrate that other than Let's see, I've got one running now. I'm just gonna hold my microphone up here and hopefully you guys can hear some airflow maybe, I don't know. But there is a air conditioning running up there on the heat pump and it's actually producing quite a bit of heat. It's not very nice in Colorado today. We went from 80s last week to 44 today, man. So we'll start in the back of the Newmar London Air. with the master bathroom. So all the way in the back here, full hanging wardrobe across the rear cap. Now over on the left side, we've got some adjustable shelving. So we can move those shelves up and down as needed. It makes for a great linen closet, extra shoe sh storage. This also has the shoe shelving in the back built into the cap. Automatic lighting when I open up these doors from the roof of this closet. So just a presser switch there, switch there. See the other side, another hanging rack. Now, Newmar is famous for making the emergency egress door back here. And it does have the ladder built into it, so if you ever need to get out, you can open up this bottom hatch and a ladder will pop out, kind of like an airplane. In the 4521, we do get dual sinks as well as dual medicine cabinets. Every cabinet in here is going to be carpet lined to keep things from rattling and shifting while you're in transit. Down below, a bank of four really nice big drawers for all your toiletries. Now every drawer and cabinet in the 2023 Newmar London Air is going to be a soft closing so we can push them and away they go. Two really big cabinets under here as well. Having too much bathroom storage has never been a problem. And then last but not least in the cabinets area, we've got the Splendid stacked washer and dryer. And then of course, Newmar always puts a huge shower in here. Now the, this particular one there does have your soap dispenser, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, nicely labeled, as well as the fold down shower seat. And the in-floor drain gives everything a very nice residential feel in here. This actually feels like a high-end shower. We've got the Aquamizer system, which is going to be a recirculator valve to move the cold water from the lines back into the freshwater tank and bring you hot water directly to the line. So you have on-demand hot water, you get in there, it's warm and ready to go. We've also got the rain shower head as well as the wand with assist handles in there. So lots of flexibility in that shower. Moving into the bedroom, first things first, we've got the 72 by 80 king bed. Now this particular coach does have the option for the sleep number R5 radius corner mattress. Underneath, really good storage. Now, right now we've got our two leafs for the table as well as the two folding chairs. Easy place to keep them. We'll talk about those here in just a little bit. And then good storage all the way across the top of the bed. Now underneath, we've got a KIB panel. We're gonna talk more about KIBs here in a little bit, but basically we have all of our coach controls up underneath the bed. That way you don't have to get out to bed, turn lights on and off, uh, move your shades, that kind of stuff. Moving over to the opposite side, the complete redesign of the wardrobe of the 2023 Newmar London Air. I love it. So let's start with, Four smaller drawers. Oh, I'm sorry, three smaller drawers. An AV compartment. 
So if we're going to use one of those two satellites that we have on the roof, we've got a place to plug in our satellite receivers, or if you want to put a DVD player in it, you have that option as well. More storage up top here. In the middle, we've got a silver leaf screen. That's going to be a whole coach control panel. We'll talk about that more when we get to the front of the coach. Nice big drawers all the way across the bottom. And then of course, the solid surface countertop, great place, phone, keys, wallet, prior to going to bed. And then this is where things get really, really cool. So we've got our standard Samsung 43 inch HD TV back here. It is on a swivel arm, pulls out and away. And then back behind it, we have our safe in a very unassuming place built into that sidewall as well as another kind of hidden storage cabinet here. So if you have some valuables that you don't or can't fit in the safe or whatever, we have another little cabinet here out of sight where most people aren't going to think to look. Another KIB panel here. So more controls for lights, uh, shades, that kind of stuff right there as you're entering the bedroom. Moving kind of forward into the kitchen area, we have the redesigned pantry for the 2023 Newmar London Air. So we still get our adjustable rollout shelves, full extension. Now remember, these lock into place. When you go all the way in, push it just a little bit farther, locks into place, keeps things from coming loose while in transit. Really, really awesome idea down here. We have a place to store our cookie sheets, our uh, cutting boards, all that stuff that's traditionally hard to store inside a motorhome. They actually gave you a place in it for the, a place for it in the new 2023 New Marlin Air. 19.7 cubic foot Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Again, I don't have the generator on. I don't have a power source other than those dual 3000 watt inverters that's gonna run this fridge. And then down below, we have our freezer drawer. And then across from the fridge, we have our half bath. So coming in here, Another small medicine cabinet, another one behind the mirror. I love the inlaid lights inside the mirror. Up above are fuses and circuit breakers for the house. Notice this is very residential. And then 12 volt fuses over here. So 12 volts gonna be like your lights, things like that, where uh, your circuit breakers are gonna be your 110 volt items, uh, washer, dryer, dishwasher, that kind of stuff. Down below, just more storage. And then one more drawer. There is outlets up in this medicine cabinet. So if you need power for your hair dryer, your razor, whatever, we have power available in the half bath. Back to the kitchen area. Let's start up top with storage. Now that cabinet to the left of the microwave does have an adjustable shelf in it. Move it up and down as needed. To the right of the microwave, We've got a huge cabinet here with pull-out drawers for easy access to anything you might be storing in there. Down below, solid surface countertop, two bowl undermount sink, stainless steel sink. Next to the sink, we've got our two burner true induction cooktop. Now I've said this a million times before, but it's still one of my favorite things because it's a little thing that means a lot. We've got cutting boards built into the bottom of our stove covers for the uh, for all our Numar diesels. It's just one more thing that you don't have to worry about taking with you and save some space. Now also in all of our all electric uh, Numars, we've got the removable two burner true induction cooktop. So if you want to take it outside to cook, just take it out, unplug it from the back, walk outside with it. Um, when you're done, bring it back in, plug it back in, sits down in the spot and then countertop covers can go right back on or i'm sorry stove top covers down into the left four more huge drawers in the kitchen area again all soft closing cutlery drawer divided up so you've got your silverware division there and then this London Air, I don't have power on it right now, so it's not going to open for me. But this London Air does have the Fisher & Paykel uh, dishwasher built into the underside of the cabinets. 
More storage down below. We have a spot for a trash can on a rollout drawer. Another rollout drawer. And then to the left, we actually have a space to keep our countertop covers so you don't have to find places to slip them. We have it built in below the counter. One more big storage. And then across from that, we've got the Euro Booth dinette. So on the 4521, this is the only dinette we're gonna be able to get. And it's all part of having those full size baggage doors. So this is an extendable dinette. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some leaves and chairs. Now these are still prepped for packing. We don't wanna scratch them or damage them. So they're gonna have a little cover on them. These just slide into place. Helps if you put them the right way. And then I have one more. So that's our table extension. Each of those, um, each of those leaves do measure out to about 10 inches. So you get about 20 inches of extension on this table. And then your two folding chairs, which we saw stored underneath the master bed. Just fold up and go right into place. So this is the Euro booth dinette. There's a ton of room here, easily four or five people, six people. Now, what makes the, uh, the door side, the patio side dining special is this is where your campsite's gonna be, right outside your door. So if you've got friends out there, you know, having a campfire, your kids, your grandkids, whoever, you can see what's going on in your campground. You're not kind of isolated away sitting on the opposite side where you can't see what's going on. Now, moving forward, We've got the 74 inch tri-fold sofa sleeper. So this is gonna be a hide a bed with an air mattress built into it. If you wanna see a video, I have videos of me blowing that up. And then as an option on the off door side, we've got the two recliners. So these are freestanding, so you can move them around as needed. Pull them out just a little bit to get some separation from the wall and then two nice recliners. Now, what's important about these recliners is they are situated directly across from your televator. So, oh, sorry. So TV lift up. So slowly but surely here, We've got our 50 inch Samsung HD TV coming up. Now this is a smart TV. So if you have internet access, you do have access to all of your streaming services, uh, Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, whatever you're using. But it's nice to have your theater seats directly across from that um, where you're not turning your head at weird angles to watch the TV. Now, keeping with TVs, this coach also has the 43 inch Samsung HD TV in the overhead. So someone could be sitting on that sofa and still watch the TV. Those two are gonna be playing the same channel for the most part anyways. Above our recliners, we've got our AV compartment here for our front TVs. And then more storage all the way across the top. And then on the opposite side, more cabinetry above the TV. Notice this Bose 900 soundbar. That's going to be playing the audio from the TV to give you the best audio quality possible. But tons of storage in the living room slash kitchen of this coach. They use every bit of space available. And what's really cool is you still get huge windows for lots of natural light. Now, if you don't want that natural light or it's bedtime and you want some privacy, on these KIB panels, hit home, hit shades, and let's just say kitchen and living room night shades, push of a button, all my shades are gonna come down. 
giving me all the privacy in the world. Also reducing all natural light from coming in. Now, in conjunction with those nightshades, we also have day shades. So if you still want some light and don't need the privacy quite yet, we have our day shades also at the push of a button. Now, every window on this coach is going to be a dual pane tinted window. So even if you didn't have any shades down, it's not easy to see inside. But these day shades do make it about impossible to see inside, but you still get the natural light, light from the outside. So let's go ahead and go over here and talk about KIB panels. So the KIB panel is essentially your coach controls um, on a lower level. So we've got 10 of these panels around the motorhome. So right here, right as I walk in the door, I can go all lights off, turn off all my ceiling lights, or all lights on, turn them all back on. If I go home, I can look at my shades. Let's go ahead and remove all those kitchen and living room day shades. Now you saw that I just put them down from across the coach, but you can control them all from here. Now the more centralized KIB panels are gonna be, you know, like, rephrase that. The KIB panels in certain locations are gonna control those locations. So like this KIB panel right next to the TV, that's gonna control all the lights for that slide out. It's gonna control the shades for that slide out. There's always gonna be an all function, so you can control all your shades or lights, but usually this is your most centralized one where you can control everything. Now also, we can turn on our overhead fans. Those are just gonna be our vent fans to keep air flowing through the motorhome. Systems, that's gonna be TV lift up and down. Also the ability to turn on our water pump from here. Monitor panel, anywhere in this motorhome, we can look at our fresh gray and black water tank levels, as well as our battery levels. And then just the ability to change the brightness of these KIB panels. Now that's really important for the bedroom one so that if you're just waking up and push the button, you don't get blasted by the brightest light in the world. So going to, with controls kinda, start up here. So I mentioned that this coach does have the option for the four 100 watt solar panels on the roof. This is the solar panel charge controller. Not really a whole lot you wanna do with that. Um, in fact, you really don't wanna to touch it too much. If you change settings, it's not gonna work correctly. Um, you definitely want a qualified technician to do all the work on that solar controller. Up top here, we have the power box for our WineGuard Traveler. So if we wanna turn on our satellite system, just push the button, it'll go up, find the uh, satellites. Driver and passenger side window awning, those are the ones that I showed you on the outside that keep the sun from beating into the coach. Security lights, driver, we're just gonna put all these down so you can see them all. Driver, passenger, drapes, so as I'm pushing these, they're coming down. Now my ignition is on, so this one's only gonna come down halfway to make sure that uh, I can still see out of it. Now the reason these are all up here instead of on the dash or the KIB boards is just for safety. It'd be a really bad day if someone pushed a button and all of a sudden you were driving with, no, uh, with all your privacy shades down. Now up above those, we've got our driver and passenger slide out extensions, exterior LED lights, in, or exterior step, the Wi-Fi router, and then the satellite system again. So this one is for our WineGuard Traveler. This one is for our WineGuard RTT20B, which is the in-motion satellite. Now, new for 2023, we've got a 10 inch screen for our silver leaf panel instead of the old seven and a half. Um, so we've also got some new functions on this screen. So now I can turn on all my lights. Let's just go off, on. I can turn them all on and off from here including exteriors. I can also do all of my shades. Now in 2022, we did not have this function on our silver leaf panel. I also believe that this is a lot easier to operate just from the little bit I've played with it so far, but let's go to our floor heat tab. Standard on the 2023, we have electric radiant floor, electric radiant in floor heat. Now we have a level one to 10 of how hot we want that floor to get. Coach mode. Uh, basically just telling you how you're running and then very important our battery screen so this is going to tell us everything we need to know about our two 320 amp hour lithium batteries so right now i'm at 69 percent charge but what's more important is right here i have a remaining time so right now i'm running a roof air conditioning off of my batteries and i've got six hours and nine minutes roughly it's kind of bouncing right now there's a lot going on but six hours and nine minutes 
of remaining time that those batteries will run. Um, really, really cool system here. Now we can still set up our automatic generator system, which is going to be here, maybe, generator. Um, so we can still set up our automatic gen system so that if our batteries start getting too low, it kicks the generator on, charges those batteries up to keep from coming back from a dead coach. We can also set that up based on the temperature in here. If you've got dogs in here or something um, and it starts getting too hot, we can kick the generator on and sh cool down the coach. Water levels, climate control. So we have zones here, front, middle, rear. Uh, it's cut up into bedroom, living room, kitchen. That's our three air conditionings. DC power just to tell us what our battery level is at. Again, 69% battery power remaining. AC power, this is gonna be our inverters on and off. And then the home screen is just gonna show us battery levels, fresh gray and black water levels. But the redesigned Silverleaf control panel makes life a lot easier. Um, the 2022s was a little bit more complex, a little bit harder to understand. So stepping down into the cab, Quite a few cool features here. Um, first and foremost, what I wanna talk about, cause I've mentioned it in videos, if you habitually watch my videos, um, I've always talked about how uh, comfort drive control used to be a knob on the side. And in 2022, they changed it, or 2021 actually, they changed it to where you had to scroll through the settings on your dash in order to access your comfort drive. Well now for 2023, they've put it on a toggle switch right here in the switch stack. So without having to look down and dig through a bunch of different settings, I can adjust my comfort drive up and down. For those of you who don't know what comfort drive is, it's an electronic assist on your steering wheel. It changes how much torque it takes to turn the steering wheel around. Also, when you let it go, it's gonna take it back to center. And more importantly, it's gonna help you in a windy situation. If you're getting a big crosswind, it'll keep you from uh, having to fight that wind. It'll help you out just a little bit. Let's start back here. Just like on every Numar London Air, we've got our HWH computerized leveling. So that is gonna be HWH hydraulic leveling. So all I need to do when I get to my campground, pull in, set the parking brake, hit auto level. It's gonna drop my airbags and drop my four leveling jacks. Get me leveled out. It also takes all the play out of the suspension so you don't get any rock, especially in windy situations when you're at our campground. Up front, touchpad for our Allison 4000 MH automatic transmission that is in six speed automatic. Tag dump switch, engine brake on and off, so you have a master switch here. Now to the right of that with the Cummins ISX, you get a three stage, so high, medium, low, just depending on what you need. Over here, or farther forward here, we've got automatic headlights, or we can still go to manual. Really cool for 2023, we have auto high beams, something we haven't seen before. Bright and dim the dash, dome lights on and off, map lights, parking brake release, Kurt integrated, integrated trailer brake, so this is your trailer brake controller. Now, as you push it and roll through settings, this is one that you definitely want to read the manual on, but basically changing these colors is changing the different settings of your integrated, integrated trailer brake. Automatic traction control override, power window for the driver's side, air horn on and off, house and, batter, or house and chassis battery battery boost, and then a really cool switch here, the heavy tow mode. So for those of you who might be rolling at the max capacity of towing, remember 20,000 pound towing capacity, we have heavy tow mode. So what that's gonna do is redistribute some of the weight from the back of the coach to the front of the coach to give you a more stable, safe, comfortable ride. On the new steering wheel, we have a new switch stack here. So we have a marker light interruption. If a trucker passes you or something, you can flash your lights to let them know. Jody, point at the van really quick. Let's just see if they can see this. So I'm pushing it here, and on the reflection of the van, you might be able to see that interruption. Um, but in conjunction with that, we also have high beams on and off, or just a high beam you know, momentary switch, and the controls for our dash radio. So volume up and down, source, um, as well as skip or repeat. Over on the left side, we have our phone controls for the radio, so answer the phone, hang up, as well as our windshield wipers. And then still on the right side of the steering wheel, we've got our dash control. Now, as I come up into the dash, we still have air leveling right here. So if I push a button, it's just gonna let it do its thing. Well, actually, let's go here. More. So if I go to more, I'm in auto level mode right now. So 
This is just using the airbags on the coach, the air suspension on the coach to level me out. Now I'm on quite the slope, so I'm not sure if we'll quite get it there, but this is really helpful for those of you who might just be stopping for a night at a truck stop or in a rest area, or just wanna level the coach before you fuel up to make that a little easier. You can just push air leveling. It's not gonna dump your jacks. It's not gonna take you out of ride mode. Well, it'll change your ride height just a little bit, but it's a quick return. Um, but on the dash here, you can see kind of a bubble level setup just to see where you're at. Really just a nice feature that Newmar puts in all its Highline coaches. Over to the right side, we've got our front fan. Now this is going to be these louvers down below my feet. So for those of you who travel in class A diesel pushers while or in the winter, you know that keeping the front of these warm is very hard. So Newmar has given us this front fan, which will pull heat off of the Oasis system, our main furnace for the coach and heat up the cab just so you're not freezing to death in here. Overhead fans, these are up behind these cabinets. Just great for circulating air. They also help with the frosting windshields in winter situations. Docking lights on and off. Those are rearward facing lights. Courtesy lights, generator start and stop, power entry lock, and then visors for the driver passenger. So as I push these, that's gonna be our day shades again. I have it running right now, so I'm not gonna be able to get them all the way down. And then our HVAC controls down below. So 2023 Newmar London Airs are going to come standard with the Navingo navigation system. Really good navigation system. What's cool about it is we can actually program the parameters of this motorhome to make sure that we're not being taken down a road that we won't make it down. Let's go to the menu here. All new Mars are gonna have the dual screen setup. So we've got a dedicated camera screen with a really pretty raindrop sitting on it right now. Over to the left, this is gonna be our actual radio. So AM, FM, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM on the radio. We're gonna click on camera control and I'll start playing with that 360 degree camera. So if I wanna look forward, boom, there's that uh, video van of ours. This is my left blinker camera, my left straight side camera. So that's just showing me the left side of the coach. My rear camera with that raindrop, right straight camera, I've got slides out so it looks a little funky, and last but not least, right blinker camera. Now, if I push that button, I have a bird's eye view of this entire motorhome. So if I'm trying to back into a tricky spot, I can look at that bird's eye view and see each corner as I'm doing it to help me from running into things. Now we can also do you know left, right, rear, front, left, right, rear, or just straight left, right all depending on your application and what you're doing. So moving over to the passenger side, we've got the passenger monitor panel. So right now you can see right here, I've got my navigation system pulled up. I can also look at the cameras and control the camera. Now, anything I do on this is also gonna happen on the dash. So let's just say, we decided we're going somewhere else. I can sit here as a passenger and change the route rather than the driver having to stop or do it while moving, which is very dangerous. Now over here, I also have some controls for the passenger comfort, such as my step cover, which comes out, comes level, so that I don't have to sit with my foot in a hole. I've got my controls for my visors. And then map lights. Now I also have this little uh, panel over here, which is going to be a wireless charger for my cell phone, as well as a passenger desk. You know, if you want to have your laptop up here, or just, you know, snack on something, you have a space that you can sit comfortably and not have to have things sitting on your lap. Now there is an option in 2023 to have a bigger seat put in for the passenger side, just for better passenger comfort. Uh, but something all, all Something else that's really cool about the 2023 New Model London Air is they actually redesigned this a little bit. So they moved the seat back just a bit just to make your area as you're entering this coach a bit bigger. Really nice feature. Um, for those of you who go in and out of Class A's a lot, you know that sometimes they get a little bit tight. Newmar listened to its customers. They said we needed more space, so they gave you more space. And I think that's going to wrap up my video of this 2023 Newmar London Air 4521. Again, this unit is available. And I also have quite a few more that I can order. If you don't like the colors of this one, something, we can absolutely place an order for a 2023 as well. Again, my name is Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. If you have any questions about this unit or any other Newmar unit, uh, any other Newmar 
lineup units, um, please feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week.